Well, the largest cargo ship to ever come to the East Coast has just left or is leaving the Carolinas. It was only in port for the weekend, but brought many tourists and spectators out. News 2's Kate Prestag joins us live from the Wando port. As you saw, it was right behind her just moments ago. Kate, a lot of excitement today. Yeah, Sophia, that's right. The excitement has been felt across the low country. I spoke with one woman earlier today from Somerville at the Waterfront Memorial Park, and she says she was so excited just to see the scale of it, among many others. One Mount Pleasant resident Carol Carroll says she's always been a fan of container ships. Before this, I lived in Colorado, which is inland. You don't see any container ships there, so it's kind of a big thrill. Aside from Charleston being a large part of maritime history and the size of the barge, Jim Newsom, president and CEO of SC Ports, believes it's also a nice break from the pandemic. And I think funny enough, with the pandemic, I think people are looking for some good news. I mean, people are looking for a chance to get out for a reason to to go do something fun and, 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 and feel good about things. As for what the 1,200 foot long ship is carrying. So this ship's probably got about 8,500 containers on board. Uh, import wise, it's retail goods, it's, it's uh, tools, hardware, you know, for Harbor Freight tools, people like that. Um, consume other consumer goods, um, in some cases, auto parts, even from, from Asia. The outbound side of it is very, very different in the sense that we export a lot of low value cargo, plastics and chemicals, um, agriculture products, forest products, um, things of that nature. Now the ship has just left and it is still behind me and Newsom says that most of those that are on top of the ship, they're actually empty containers as they import much more than they export. In Mount Pleasant, I'm Kate Prestack, Count on Two.